style YouTube channel. I am so pumped today because this is Styling on the Fly. This is a series I do over on IGTV and everyone seems to love it so I thought I needed to bring it over here to YouTube just for a special holiday edition. The way this works is I have Maddie here. She's standing right behind the camera. Say hi Maddie. Hi. <laughs> She's right there. You all have sent in outfit ideas on my Instagram and Maddie has selected four four outfits that then she is going to read out to me. I have no idea what the outfit situations are. This is a little bit of styling and improv combined. I'm going to then walk around my closet, style things up on the fly. I have no idea where I'm starting. I have no idea where I'm ending and you guys get to see the whole process come together. So I'm really excited to do this here on YouTube for you guys. And we are going to do a special holiday edition. Every single outfit is holiday inspired, right Maddie? Yes. Right. This will hopefully get your brain buzzing for the holiday right around the corner. I am now going to hand the camera over to Maddie. She's going to start following me around the room. We're going to style on the fly. Yes, here we go. I'm going to style up my first look. Maddie, give me the outfit. Emily wants an outfit for going to a Christmas parade. Ooh, a Christmas parade. So you want to be comfy. You want to be warm. You want to be festive. All the things. And right away, as I was saying all those things, this sweater popped in my head. This is a vintage Dolce & Gabbana yummy sweater that's cropped. I love it that I got at Crossroads. So I'm going to start here and then I want to style with denim because I'm trying to use more denim in all of my styling and I think I am going, nope, I just changed my mind. This is how styling on the fly goes. I want to be more festive than that. I'm going to wear my 70s high waist pants that I love and they're super cropped and flared. So I think this is going to be so festive and fun, but also very comfortable. So I'm going to do these two pieces together. And then I want some, I think, comfortable shoes, maybe boots. Okay, I'm having a crazy idea, a little bit of a different idea. But I like the idea of these green boots with this because they're, there's green in these pants. And then of course, I mean, it's the red and green theme. So that's always fun. Now I think I want to add a jacket because you freeze your butt off when you're at a parade. And so I have the best jacket, which is so cozy and warm, but it's got the green in it. It's got yellow in it. It's like a plaid. So I feel like it's even more print mixing. And I do want to add probably a hat as well. So come on over here. You're really getting the inside scoop of my closet. I have hats down here. I'm gonna either wear, I think, this red beanie or this really fun beret with this. So I'm gonna start putting this all together and then we'll see where we're at. So I am starting with the Dolce & Gabbana cropped cozy sweater. I love how this has a really high turtleneck. I like to take these and keep them all the way up and even tuck my hair in. I love how it kind of makes it look like I have a little bob haircut. And then I've got these incredible vintage 1970s plaid pants that I got from Lucky Vintage Seattle. I then paired my find from eBay, the green, really skinny, high ankle boots. Yeah, from eBay. And they have this great little brown crocodile detail to them. It was a little bit of a different choice for me. I think I would have normally chosen like a brown boot. And I liked the idea of throwing green into the mix. I saw the green in the pants and that's what made me think about the green boot. And then of course it's, it's Christmas. So let's go red and green if we can, but maybe not strictly red and green, like mix it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to throw on this cozy coat. I don't know if you guys remember, I thrifted this when I was with Annette, I think two years ago, our very first time we hung out, we thrifted together and I got this coat and it is just so incredible, cozy. It's gonna keep me warm for the Christmas parade. I love it. And then one more layer, I'm gonna add this little beret that is so much fun. This is a vintage beret. I got it at Savers 
and it has these fun brooches right here on the side, which I don't know if somebody put those on there or they sold them originally like that, but it's such a fun little extra detail and it feels festive and ready for the holiday parade, which I am now ready for and I love this. So happy holidays. All right, I had fun at the Christmas parade and now I'm ready for my next holiday look. <gasps> Maddie, give it to me. Okay, Kate wants an outfit for Christmas in Hawaii. My licky licky bongo was the thing to say on a bright and winter food day. Mellow baby maka is the thing to do. I have this shirt and I'm thinking it will be perfect for a Hawaiian Christmas, right? It's festive colors, but it also feels tropical and feels Hawaii. Hawaii and yes I'm okay so I'm starting here now what do I want to do now I want to do something crazy oh my gosh I want to wear these gold pants that I found with Maddie <laughs> and I love the idea of taking this shirt and maybe kind of leaving it open a little bit and then these pants but then I need a great belt to kind of cinch it all in together so I am thinking I'm going to take this big black belt and wrap it around and cinch it in real tight at the waist. So I'm going to do that. I will definitely pile all the necklaces on that are hiding actually under here in my sweater. And then I want to wear, I think, just like big gold gaudy hoop earrings because I feel like I have a lot going on and a big gaudy belt so I want some hoop earrings and then I need some great shoes to go with this so I'm going to pick my go-to I always love wearing these because they are my fun little mules they've got roses on them which I like that it has flowers in it just like the flowers in the shirt but they're mules so that's kind of nice for Hawaii I can throw them off and go dip, prancing around in the sand if I want to um, and then I think I'm going to do my hair in like a split middle, maybe braid or bun. All right. This is my crazy Hawaii holiday look. My idea of being in Hawaii for the holidays is I still want to go out. I want to have a great meal probably. So I want to dress it up, but I do want it to be appropriate for the tropics. So I've got this really fun vintage blouse. You guys probably remember when I just thrifted this for my winter dressing. And so I loved this. It feels very Hawaii and kind of crazy. And then y'all, these gold pants. I just got them with Maddie. You guys saw I got them last week. They are so much fun. They're like gaudy and goldy galore. They're a little big, so I need to cinch them in. So I took this really great gold buckle that cinches it all in and holds the pants together. Then I am going to add my big old hoop earrings, which I love when I do a split middle bun. This helps to kind of just show off the earrings and it makes it feel a little more chic. Got my big earrings on. And then last, I'm gonna add the mules. These feel so perfect for Hawaii in the sense that I can kind of just throw them on and off, but they still dress up the look. And this feels festive and holiday. And Nella Kaliki Maka is the thing to say on a bright and wonderful Christmas day. I've enjoyed a feast, some grass skirts, and a lay. And now I'm ready for my next outfit. Maddie, give me the outfit. The Gentle Rebellion wants a look for holiday cocktail date like a holiday cocktail date. So you wanna look sassy. Oh my gosh, sorry, I just had the idea of what I'm gonna wear. This is maybe not what normal people would think about to wear for a holiday cocktail date, but this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm just having so much fun with all the finds from Maddie and I's thrift haul last week. And this is just such a great statement and I actually feel like it feels very feminine too and festive holiday because it's got all of the gold going on. So what I want to add to this is these gold shoes because I want to give it a little bit of, I think, a 70s vibe. So I'm going to do these gold shoes. I'm going to add some gold earrings, of course. What else do I do? <laughs> um, I'm going to add, let's see, which ones? Are, ooh, I'm going to add these because these are like actually kind of more like maybe 60s but big door knocker, fabulous earrings.
And I love the idea of this with this. I also want to grab like a little cocktail -y type bag. So I have my go-to party bag, which is this gold little clutch. And then I want to have like a share. 60s long split middle hair maybe tucked behind the ears long look to go with this outfit so this is where I'm starting All right so I have on that dreamy dress that I am so glad Maddie found for me it's such a statement it feels so special you have to wear this in the winter because it's thicker so it definitely has a holiday feeling and then all of the gold is incredible so I've got the dress on and then I threw on these incredible golden shoes platforms that I got at Crossroads. I'm going to put on my big door knocker earrings and as you can see I also split my hair into like a really slick kind of dramatic share type hair. I also just have on my two little gold necklaces. I've got my B Lulu Frost necklace and then my Anna Luisa necklace. Those are my staple necklaces. So I just like those like kind of popping out right there. I kept this open and I think I'm ready for cocktails, a date night, something special during the holiday season. Ah, I love it. Cheers. This is my last and final outfit, holiday edition. Maddie, give it to me. Okay, so Trinette wants an outfit for some holiday shopping. Holiday shopping sounds so fun. Want to be cozy, want to be cute, want to make a statement as well. So let's think, what do I want to wear? I want to wear immediately a move on towards these plaid green pants that feel very holiday appropriate. Now I need something that will be fun and festive with this. And I am thinking actually about this plaid blazer that I have that's actually very oversized. I love this blazer so much. And so I love the idea of mixing these two plaids together. Then I want to pull on a great sweater. And the one that popped in my brain is this one because it's green. I love it. It's got the green of that, but then it's also got yellow and gray in it, which I love that it pulls out the yellow and gray in this blazer. So I've got these three things going on. And then immediately as I'm putting this all together, I'm thinking about my Vagabond Shoemaker really great little Oxford shoes. These are my favorite shoes. I love a chunky sole, but they're classic. They've got the tassels on them. I want socks to go with them. So let's move over to my sock section. I'm going to grab, let's see what socks I'm thinking. I just want to kind of keep it pretty simple. I've got so much going on here. I don't know if this is simple, <laughs> but I'm going to try it with these golden and green socks to pull in more of the green and be really festive and fun. And then I'm going to grab a bag, which I feel like I need. I'm going to grab this Brahmin bag, which is just my go-to satchel. I love it. So I'm going to do this. And then as I'm putting all this together, I've been really into this lately. I've been really into my little hat here. And now whenever I wear this hat, I also want to wear these aviator glasses that are from Movement. And they are the um, blue light glasses. And I've just been really into this combo. So this, this crazy combination is where I'm going. I'm ready for some holiday shopping, lots of festiveness, lots of prints going on. Once again, I did a cozy sweater with a turtleneck and I left it flipped up, left my hair tucked in. I just really like that. And then I love that it's kind of like a green base that I'm working with, but print mixing because of this print and then the plaid print. I did my black Vagabond shoes and I ended up switching to an all gold sock because the other ones had green and I realized it was blending in too much to the green pant. I am then going to throw on this plaid blazer, which I love the combination of this. It's very oversized. It's actually lightweight, which I like because I've got a sweater going on, which is pretty warm and cozy. And this is just like one little extra layer, but I don't feel like the bulkiness of it. And then I am going to put on my little go-to styling hat lately which is this crazy little YMCA hat. I thrifted it, I don't know, years ago. I just like the look of it. And then I love pairing it with 
these aviator glasses from Movement. I just feel like it gives it a little bit of a quirky and interesting vibe. And last, my Brahmin satchel bag. When you're shopping, you want like a big bag that you can kind of carry everything with you. I feel very festive, I feel very comfortable, and I feel ready to like take on the holiday shopping, spread some Christmas cheer, buy some goodies for all the friends and family. I love the holiday season. Okay, so that's it, you guys. That's Styling on the Fly. That's a series that I do over on IGTV. I do those as much as I can every single Friday, so you're not following me on Instagram or IGTV. Go check that out, because there is more Styling on the Fly to be seen. There's actually a backlog of them now, or an archive of them, so you can go and watch those over there. I love doing them for you guys. They're so much fun. I love that I don't really know where I'm gonna go, where I'm starting, where I'm ending, and it's always fun to kind of see everything come together because I'm surprised by it too. I just want to remind you as well that I'm taking a little bit of a holiday break. I'm taking off December 26th and January 2nd to just spend some time with friends and family, binge watch some TV, sit in my comfy cozies, sit by the fire, eat some food, I guess just be lazy basically is what I want to do. There won't be video for those two weeks but don't worry I'll be back in January with all new content. I can't wait to develop more fun magical stuff for you guys in 2020. I think we have some really exciting places to go together. Ah! I can't wait. Whoa, it's gonna be the new year the next time you see me. Woo, that's so exciting, I love it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave your comments below. Always play dress up and I'll see you guys later, bye!